Good morning, everybody. Amanda and Ozzy is here eating his oatmeal this Saturday morning. And today we're going to talk about how to help your parrot eat healthy. This is a hard one and a lot of people have trouble with it. I've heard from a lot of people that just come up to me whenever I have Ozzy out and say, Oh, my umbrella cockatoo is so picky or any parrot they may have. Oh, they're so picky and they'll only eat this. I feed my uh, parrot Cheetos I, because they'll only eat that. No, 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 no. Do not be doing that. If you are doing that, watch this video and hopefully this will help you. Okay. For starters, you want to make this um, interesting, I want to say, for your bird. Do you want to eat the same thing every day? No, you do not want to eat the same thing every day. So why be boring and feed your poor parrot the same thing every day? I feed Ozzy something different every day. And I think he really enjoys this. Because when he's in his cage and I'm getting his food ready, you can tell. He's just excited. He's like, oh, what is it going to be today? Uh, uh, I'm really hungry and what is it going to be today? So don't just keep feeding them the same thing because you keep throwing the same thing in their bowl, shutting the door, and they're just like, uh, whatever. Same thing I had yesterday. Just like us. You keep feeding us or if you keep feeding yourself the same thing every day, uh. Because think about it, if you get something new every day or some, and you like it and it's just something not the same thing as you had yesterday, you're a little more excited about lunchtime, about dinner time. So do the same thing for your bird. Um, some of the things I feed Ozzy, I'm just going to give you some of these to help you. Um, oatmeal this morning, Ozzy has oatmeal. Completely plain, not the packet. Do not get those packets of oatmeal full of sugar and you do not want to feed your bird tons of sugar like that. So get you some organic plain oats, cook them on the stove, uh, and then of course let them cool down. What I do is I put a bowl of ice under them, stick the bowl in the bowl of ice, let it cool, and then Ozzy's good to go. And as you can see, he's going to finish all of his oatmeal. You could add fruit in there. You could, um, a little trick I like to do, if he hasn't ate a lot of, um, vegetables for the week i'll throw in some uh really really finely cut up vegetables and mix it in and he has no idea and he's still gonna eat it because he loves that oatmeal this is a great time to mix in those things that they may not get enough of um so just think about those things and how you can mix it up but do not mix it in front of your parrot because these birds are highly intelligent as we have spoke about many other times they're going to know what you're doing if you do that in front of them. And they're not going to eat it. I've done, trust me, I've made this mistake before whenever I first got Ozzy. And he looked at me like, mm, I just saw you put those, you know, green beans in there. Or I saw you, whatever vegetable it may have been. And he's looking at me like, mm, yeah, right. I don't think so. So just think about that. And uh, another great thing is uh, Ozzy loves potatoes. Bake you a potato because don't give them potatoes raw. They're, they're not supposed to have raw potatoes. So bake you a potato or a sweet potato. And then mix in some of the things that they might, may not eat as well. And this will work really, really well. And um, Ozzy, that's what I do with Ozzy a lot, or a boiled egg boil you an egg and mash it up and then put some of those other veggies or even their chop. You can put their chop in the potato or the egg as well. And this is going to help them get in the veggies that they need. Um, and like I said, just make it fun. And the other day I had actually said in my video to eat with your birds. This, I really think this would help a lot of people. Birds love to be involved with their family, their flock. So while you're eating, just uh, bring your bird around the table, bring their cage to the table like we do. Uh, you could bring a stand, you could let them be on their shoulder. When we go to my mom's, Ozzy eats on my shoulder. But he's still eating with us and he, he does not want to eat until we start eating. It's just a thing with him and it may be a thing with your bird too and you don't even know it. So uh, let your bird eat with your family. And this is a good bonding time too. But Ozzy loves to be in his cage. And when we all sit down and start eating, he starts eating his pellets and chop or whatever I have given him for that evening. 
So it's just really important. And like right now, he's having his breakfast. I'm not eating right now, but I'm sitting here with him while he's eating. I actually have some apple cider on the stove for for me to drink here in a little bit because I love apple cider. But just get involved with your burden eating. And also, this is a thing too, and it's kind of funny, and you're going to be like, oh, this is crazy. You know, it works. Because... Especially umbrella cockatoos, they, as I speak of so much, they go on your emotions. Okay, if uh, you eat something, and this is a big thing too, sometimes try to eat the same thing they're eating, and they'll be more engaged to eat that because they see you eating that. But if they're not as interested and you see them kind of picking at it or like not interested, when you eat what they are eating, make it be like it is the best thing you have ever tasted in your life. Oh, Ozzy here goes crazy. Like, um, the other day, I had cut him up some cucumbers in his chop, and he was just like, hmm, no, not too into this. Well, oh, here he goes. <laughs> well, I got myself a cucumber, and I was like, oh my gosh, this is so good. And Ozzy was just like, come over and he was all into it and he was like what, what are you doing oh my goodness you're is that really that good is that that looks like what he would have been saying to me so he goes over gets his cucumber and he eats the whole thing so it was just hilarious but try this just be like oh this is so good and, you know and keep eating that vegetable or whatever and I, I they would, uh -oh. what is it bub what is it and they will try it, as you can see, completely gone. But they may not. I mean, some birds I could be completely wrong on. But with Ozzy, this works. And it is too funny. I actually may try to put a video of that up. Because he is just all interested in what we are doing. Um, and another thing is if you're traveling with your bird... This is kind of hard because, of course, you want your um, parrot to have fresh vegetables and stuff. But when we travel, what I do is I um, I do baby food. All natural, uh, no sugars added, nothing, no fillers. You can't just go out and buy regular baby food. You have to make sure this is actually like pureed vegetable. That's all you need. You need nothing else mixed in. All natural, organic vegetables pureed pretty much and you could even do this at home but i just uh luckily in one of our uh local gro grocery stores they have the all organic organic nothing added so i just buy a lot of those vegetables like uh green beans um anything like that any kind of vegetable you can find carrots and what I do is I will take uh, a baked potato with us or a baked sweet potato or boiled eggs and I'll mix these vegetables in our oatmeal um, and I'll mix these vegetables in for Ozzy while we're on our trip and that's how I get his vegetables in while we're traveling and he eats it and sometimes he'll even eat it by itself I don't know if it's a texture thing but he just really really enjoys that puree baby food um but just try that with your parrot if you're even having trouble at home with them not eating vegetables i mean it, it's a way to get those veggies in to me i would think you would rather have the you know fresh but but just try it you never know but if you travel it's just a great idea you don't have to take all these fresh veggies that could go bad or anything you just take those uh, containers of that puree or baby food with you, and it works great. This is what I've done every time we've traveled with Ozzy. So just a little idea for you there. And I think that is all for today. Hi, Hi Oz. But um, also make sure you do not ever feed them anything really, really hot. They give them everything kind of room temperature. Uh, Ozzy does not like cold food either, so he wants everything to kind of be room temperature so just think about that when you're feeding your parrots and i hope this video has helped and i hope you will continue to feed your parrot healthy and just give them a healthy diet they will be so much more uh, better well behaved and you will just be keeping them healthy so oh, sorry keep an eye on ozzy here where are you going bud he's wanting to go on top of his cage okay so everybody <coughs> There we go.
everybody have a great day and uh if you like our content subscribe to our channel like our videos give them a thumbs up share our videos and we will see you